We're looking at uh, GCSE Physics Unit 1 Higher Tier from SIA for 2016. Question 2a. In Northern Ireland, a variety of energy resources are used to generate electricity. Most electricity is generated using oil, but the number of wind turbines is increasing. Using these two sources of energy, explain clearly the difference between renewable and non-renewable energy resources. Okay, so these two, which means we must be talking about oil and wind. So in this question we want to make sure that we specifically mention why oil is non-renewable and why wind is renewable. So we need to understand a little bit about what's going on with them and clarify that in our answer. So oil formed over millions of years and it's not being replaced at the rate we're using it up. So it will run out and that's why we call it non-renewable. Wind, however, is created by the heating effect of the sun uh, and convection that that causes. And that gives us new wind each day. So using wind today does not affect its availability tomorrow and that makes it a renewable source. State one advantage uh, the non-renewable source stated above has over the renewable source stated above. Okay, so uh, what oil has going for it is that the power station running on oil has a guaranteed amount, a reliable amount of energy that it will produce, but wind doesn't. So that's what you want to say. The oilified station provides a steady amount of energy that can be relied upon, but the wind is will be providing a less reliable amount uh, because the wind speeds would vary so much. Other than those stated above, give one example of a renewable energy resource and one example of a non-renewable energy resource. Well, this is the easiest because it's just going to be stating stuff from your notes okay so for renewable you could put wave hydroelectric tidal biomass etc and for non-renewable you could put coal gas nuclear etc part b a boulder of mass 440 kilograms rolls down a slope and falls into the sea the top of the cliff is 12 meters above the sea level calculate the gravitational potential energy of the boulder at the top of the cliff and you're revised to show clearly how you get your answer. Okay, so gravitational potential energy has an equation. So GPE equals MGH, and that's our starting point for our calculation. Okay, so gravitational potential energy equals MGH, 440 times 10 times 12, gives us 52800 joules. As it enters the water, the boulder has a speed of 16 meters per second. How much kinetic energy does it, the boulder have as it enters the water? Okay, so that's just another straight out of your notes. Kinetic energy is a half mv squared. So Ke is a half mv squared. 0. 0.5 times 440 times 16 squared gives you 56320 joules. Using your answers to parts B, 1 and 2 and the law of conservation of energy, calculate the speed of the boulder as it rolls off the cliff. So we need to look at these numbers again. Um, we had a gravitational potential energy of 52800 joules. But by the time it hits the water it has extra kinetic energy that must have come from it already having some kinetic as it left the hill so that's what they're trying to find so the difference between these two numbers is going to be the extra kinetic it had and that can be worked backwards then to find the speed okay so kinetic 
uh, was present at the top, the difference between these two will give us that. And if we do that calculation, we get 3, 2, 5, O oh, joules. So now we can use our kinetic energy equation to work backwards to a speed. So K equals a half mv squared, and if we rearrange that, V will equal the root of 2 times the kinetic energy, because if you multiply both sides by 2, you get rid of the half, and you get 2 times Ke. If you divide by m, you get 2 times Ke over m equals V squared, and if you take the root of that, you get the root of 2 times kinetic over m. So we get the root of 2 times 3250 over 440, and that comes to 3.84 meters per second. Part C, a man pushes a lawn mower across a lawn at a steady speed. In what two forms is some of the energy wasted when the lawn mower, uh, the user sorry, pushes the lawn mower across the lawn? And these are absolute standard answers when uh, any kind of mechanical activity, anything with moving parts, um, any machine, or in this case a person, uh, when machines operate, you always get heat and you always get sound. When pushing the lawnmower, the man does 400 kilojoules of useful work. If the efficiency is 0.8, calculate the amount of wasted energy. You are advised to show clearly how you get your answer. Okay, so efficiency is uh, useful output energy over total input energy. Total input then is going to be useful. Sorry, that should say useful output over efficiency. Uh, so four hundred over zero point eight, which gives us uh, five hundred kilojoules. And so the wasted is going to be the difference between those five hundred minus four hundred gives us one hundred kilojoules. And that's our final answer. And that is that.